So I'm here to show you how to get started with just test automation and the manual testing under the one roof of the test management system. Let's get started. Let's create a new project. So once we have the empty project, we would like to move and synchronize our test management, uh, test, test automation code to test management system. I do have it already on my local box. So how to, how to import this source code to the test management system, you would need to press this button from the source code. We would need to choose the just and the programming language we are using. We then we will generate a special command you would need to execute on uh, your test mission repository. It can be done both locally or on remote box or on continuous integration server. So once the test cases are introspected, they all are sent to test management system. So without any customization, it flows to test management system. Now you can see the folders and inside of these folders, you can see the test automation uh, implementation. So this one one scenario. So inside of this one scenario, you can see test automation implementation. Of course, so if you are a non-technical person, so you can add some uh, human readable description in Markdown editor. So no problem. You will have a description. Then you have the code. Then you have the attachments. So if you would like to add some attachments or any supplementary information to your test cases. So, and history, something like this, right? So we have a lot of different advanced features. So now we have the test automation synchronized in test, in the test management system. So then we would need to go and do some manual testing. Let's create a manual test cases. So I will create a new test suite. So we'll, that will be manual test suite. I will go, uh, I have uh, my checklist of the test cases I would like to create. So then I can go here and massively create our test cases easily in one click. So it can be 20 or 30. So, um, so one line in one test case. So as you may see, so I easily created 11 test cases. And then now we can go and describe our test cases easily. So I do have already some description here. So you can describe it in the same way. So you can use some uh, auto completion. That's the auto completion that is working from the steps database, from a central steps database. And you have the these good capabilities like in Visual uh, Visual Studio Code. So to narrow down your search. Uh, to understand uh, what steps you should um, insert here. So you can insert, for example, open some page, I click in some link, I see something uh, on the page, something like this. Uh, of course, so you would like to add some supplementary information like screenshots, no problem, you can add it and check it, then that is added, something like this. Fine, then I will save it. So we have a description of the test case, we have the attachments we have added recently. We have a history of the changes you, you may see. So we have the differences and so on and so forth, right? Fine then, so you have the manual test cases and the test automation under the one roof as easy as it is, right, in, in two minutes. So now you may see that we would like just to reorganize our test cases somehow. So no problem, you can use the, the drag and drop. So for example, like this, you can reorder your test cases or even more, for example, here. So you can move your test cases to another test suite, right? So something like this. Fine then, or even more, so we have advanced capabilities to, uh, for example, here to delete one test case, to add a new test case, or for example, to add the, some tag that will be applied to the test case. By this tag, you can search and um, execute your test cases. Fine, so then by one click, uh, all the changes are applied. So fine, so we organize our manual test cases and test automation under the one roof. Fine then. So let's take a look to the steps database. That is the steps database, uh, which is used to your descriptions. So fine. And then you can go inside of it and check. So where you have this example of the usage. So sounds like this. Uh, fine then. But let's go to the execution. So we have, of course, we have uh, the first test automation. So let's just start from test automation execution. We have prepared the special reporter that can be used. Uh, for the jest, so you would need to install it on your um, local box or on your on your project. So and then once it's done, so you would need to add this reporter to your configuration settings. It's already done on my site. And then you would need to execute your test cases easily with our API key. So as you do it before, but with our API keys. 
So now it has been started. So as you may see, everything is uh, configured here. So fine then, and then we will go and see that, okay, so your this case is, is um, uh, uh, executed and you have some results. So you also may see that we have some, uh, some reporters in real time. You don't need to wait until the end so you can check the the what exactly was happening with, is, with your test case you can see the stack trace you have the implementation you might see the attachments or descriptions and anything else so let's execute another from another side the manual test cases so on manual test cases you have the uh, list of your test cases and um, the the requirements or steps that you would need to execute you would need to mark this passed or failed something like this so you can add some screenshots from the buffer without any issues so we can mark this as passed or fail easily by shortcuts we have so it's um, you know so it really easy to execute our test cases so now we have the manual execution and automation execution of course uh, we have a lot of different advanced features so then you can check the analytics for example what is coverage of your test cases by test suites so you can check where you have a defects or flaky test cases never executed test cases or ever failing test cases so um so you have a different analytics model so um also you can check the you can of course you can create the test plan for manual or test automation execution so you can track the changes that is done to your project so you can see what exactly was uh, uh, changed uh, in the project by whom and when and of course you can roll back all these changes so um, also you can use the branches for the manual test cases so or you can configure the continuous integration easily with those systems uh, add some Jira integration uh, you can configure the reporting notification to MS uh, Teams or Slack or email or whatever so we have a lot of advanced features so please use test management system testament.io for um, for just uh, test automation and integrate uh, the manual testing and test automation under the one roof.